Hi guys, we're here from Sarah Become Art. So excited to do another video with you again today. I'm here with Moshe. What are we doing today, Moshe? We're making a popsicle. Yes, so exciting. It's gonna be a super adorable popsicle. And we need our paper, pencils, erasers, maybe a ruler, and colors like markers. Now let's get started. We want to start with deciding where the bottom of the popsicle will be. Not the popsicle stick. In fact, we want to imagine also how much space for the popsicle stick. But for now, let's just decide where the bottom of the popsicle is going to be and make a tiny little line right there. The question? Yeah, but let's try to do it in the middle of the page. The question? Yeah, that looks really good. Excellent. And then you can either do this with the ruler or without. But what we want to do is make a straight line where the bottom of the popsicle should be, how far out to both ends. Let's try to either measure the end to make it nice and even, or just to guess. Maybe it doesn't matter to you if it's even. So you can just, if you want to measure it, you can take even a small ruler and just check if from here to here, let's say this, this is seven, then we would want also seven on the other side. And that means I would want it until here instead. You want to also measure it or here? Just to see where you want Amazing. So now what we can do is check how high we want the popsicle to go. Do we want it to be at the top of the page? Do we want it to be really low down to make a small one? I would say if the bottom is this size, then the top should be somewhere around here and make a little bit of a line. So let's say if you want to, to see that in measurements, like right here? I would say it's about double. Check this from here to here what would be about double, or a little bit less than double. So let's say if this, of course like it's not important to measure, but if that's what you want, then if this is seven, then this, well, can like a here. Yeah, so then this could be like two sevens, or a little bit less than that. I did a little bit less. Okay, now that we have the top, we want to start with making straight, parallel, vertical lines, but we only want to go halfway. So just halfway. This is our top, this is our bottom, and we want halfway to make those straight lines. Okay, so we can take the ruler and we can just make a straight line up. We can check how it's vertical comparing to the side of the page. So. You can also make for yourself a little guess where the middle would be, or you can measure what's the middle in between these two. If this is 14, then the middle would be 7. So we want to, once we do the guess or measure where the middle is, then we make we line up the ruler, look at the ruler to see if it's parallel with the side of the page and then you can make that straight line up to the middle. Thank you. Yeah, but do you see how that's a lot higher than the middle? So where would you say the middle is? More like here, right? Is this here? Okay. And then the other side should be the same thing. So you can even check how high is this one. This one is till five and a half. So I'll make this one also till five and a half. I'm checking that it's parallel with this line. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So why do we want halfway? You probably guessed because from here to here we want a curve. But making a curve is not as simple as it sounds. We want to go back and forth. 
a little bit here, a little bit coming down here. We're thinking of our curve, but we have to go back and forth until we meet in the middle. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. A tiny bit both ways. We can't just go like this at once. That's too difficult. We need to go a little bit here. We need to think of our curve as we go. But the main thing is to go a little bit on both ends until they meet. Okay, that's also good. If you wanna go at once, however, whichever way you like. And then we can do the, the depth of the popsicle by adding a little bit of a slanted line on the side. Perfect. And from the middle of the top, the skinny, skinny, skinny line is starting, but then it starts to go the exact same way. The exact same way as the line. Perfect. Really good. But I think this, if you can curve it in more to the top so that it becomes an extremely skinny point. Perfect. Amazing. Okay, so we're up to our popsicle stick. We just want to decide how wide it should be. How wide do you think would be nice? That you can easily decide. And then you can make two straight lines. Not too long, but also you can decide how long to make them. Not too short. And then a little smile at the yeah, end. Yeah, a smile face is too much. Perfect. Okay, so of course we need an adorable face for our popsicle stick um. before we start coloring it. Exactly. So let's begin with making two eyes. Um, I'm sure we've mentioned before, but you're always welcome to use a, a circle shape of something if it's really hard for you to make circles and you want to just have fun with it then just find something that's a circle shape and you can make those two circle shapes for the eyes. Do you have anything to say? Um, no. Okay, so um, if you want to, to do that, then go ahead now and find something that's going to be a nice circle shape for you. Or you can just decide where you want it and just go for it. And if it doesn't come out the first time, you keep trying and erasing until it does. Or you can do a, where the top is, where you want the top to be, where you want the bottoms to be, where you want the sides to be. I think I'm going to do circles. So you, you want something to trace around or you want to just go for it? I just go for it. Go ahead. So I'm doing um, a third option for everyone and then you can do in between. And you can even go one more time in between. And do you see how that is going to really help to get more of an idea of where you want your eye and how big it should be? white circles and then smaller ones on the side. Beautiful job. Excellent. That's a great face. And is a good and idea. just like that, we got popsicle. Amazing. So we're going to now go over all the lines with the black marker and we'll see you That's how you colored it in. <laughs> so, great job. Now we want to just erase a little bit of the pencil, any, any of the pencil that you can still see even after the black marker. Now is the time to clean it up a little bit. Especially inside the white parts of the eye to have them clean. Just like that, you have a clean obstacle. Yeah, so 
let's decide what color we want to put it. If this is going to be brown, then we can make a light brown for the back, for the side oh, here. Brown, light brown, and yep. white. Okay, and this one could be red or pink, and the popsicle stick can be yellow. Yeah. Okay. So sweet there. Oh my gosh. And that's how we colored it. So, yeah. um, mine came out to be a girl. Which is, boy. I guess a boy. And Thanks, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. And don't forget to like this video.